Hey, happy new year. Ah, now so we see him. Oh. Hey, they say this year is a year of higher heights. Ah, uh, Bio, we don't collect another prophecy for the year. <laughs> they stick out even by itself. They say you go bring miracle in one week. <laughs> My brother, this is not the third week. I know she's saying bye. Hey, who? Now, so our fathers in the Lord, they take scam us and give us false hope, eh? and then go leave us to the struggle. We go just rub this year like that, you know. Yeah. Daddy. No, Alana. Take care, eh? Alright. Well done, bro. Thanks. I didn't mean to eat drop, but. I overheard your phone conversation. So, you overheard? You didn't even drop? No, the same thing. What do you want to say? You see, pastors don't give false hope as New Year themes and prophecies. They release New Year themes and prophecies as inspired by God. They are only responsible for the announcement. They can't throw you into the reality. The same way you can't force salvation on a man, he must receive Jesus by himself. So making these prophecies a reality in your life is your duty and not your pastor's. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 says, If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. So bro, this year's prophecy is not a scam. You can make it work by obedience to God's instruction. Wow! I never saw it like that though. Hey, why? I tell you, now pastor you go be. Give up. I know. Give up. Pastor, why?